Prince William admitted he thought it would be wonderful to work with his wife Kate Middleton, brother Prince Harry and sister-in-law Meghan Markle again in an unearthed interview, a heartbreaking revelation following the rumor drift between the two couples. William set up a shared charity called the Royal Foundation in 2009 with Harry. Kate and Meghan then became patrons of the trust when they married into the royal family. Kate worked with just the two brothers for seven years, from 2011 onwards, while Meghan was still working as an actress on the American series Suits. She was also doing some humanitarian work and was the UN women's advocate up until she met and subsequently wed Harry, at which point she became the Duchess of Sussex and a full-time royal. It was thought the two couples would work well together in the charity sector and they were even dubbed the Fab Four. However, after a little more than a year as a team, the four split, with Harry and Meghan announcing they would be starting their own charity called Sussex Royal. In the only joint interview the Fab Four have conducted, to date, in February 2018 at the first annual Royal Foundation Forum, the Duke of Cambridge emphasized how much he appreciated it when his family worked as a unit on the Heads Together campaign. William said, I think we've looked at ways of collaborating again. I think it would be wonderful if we could do another project or another campaign with similar impact as Heads Together or you know as a unit, as a family, but I think we've got to be careful how and when we target those moments and use them carefully. Heads Together is an initiative that looks at changing the conversation around mental health conditions, which the Royals worked on together from its launch in 2016. But, as William explained even before the couples split, it would be tricky for them all to work together. He said, you have to plan for, these campaigns, and they take a lot of preparation to do. I think each of us have got our own ideas and work streams that we would like to build upon. He added, for me personally following on from Heads Together, tackling mental health. There's still a huge stigma around male mental health. Suicide for instance among young men is one of the biggest killers in the country. Kate also mentioned in the interview that she was interested in addiction and Harry with knife crime, topics which can often stem from mental health problems, thus giving all three royals a common ground to work on through their charity. She added, mental health is obviously such a huge topic, although it wasn't as big as I actually thought it was, but I think it was something that I think all three of us felt that we really could make a far bigger impact together rather than just one of us acting alone on it. Throughout the interview, Harry also admitted that the four of them do face challenges when working together. He jokingly said, we're stuck together for the rest of our lives. Meghan laughed in response and commented, togetherness at its finest. She also said she was impressed with the Heads Together campaign which started in 2016, and said the impact they made while working together was tremendous. As Meghan was not officially part of the charity until after her May 2018 wedding, she said she was excited to get started with the charity. It is believed she would like to specialize in female empowerment and other women's charities. At the time of the interview, the two couples were supposed to be living in the Kensington Palace estate together. However, not long before they announced the charity split, the couples declared they would be Harry and Meghan would be moving to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, despite reportedly having just done up their Kensington apartment to the way they wanted. Many believe this is part of Harry and Meghan's attempts to keep their son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor as a private citizen by moving him away from his cousins. As William is second in line to the throne, he and his family, Prince George, 6, Princess Charlotte, 4 and Prince Louis, 1, are arguably more in the public eye. The two families were last seen together when Kate and Meghan brought their children to watch Harry and William play in a royal charity polo match in July. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently on their first tour as a family, having taken their four-month-old son to southern Africa. It is rumored this effort will contribute towards their desire to make Sussex Royal an international organization.